Buenas tardes, eh, muchas gracias. I'm going to talk in Spanish. Um, I hope the translation is working. Um, por supuesto, muchas gracias a todos los trabajadores del auditorio, traductores. Thank you. Anyway, to all the people participating and making this event possible. En la sección científica. Y voy a presentaros. I would like to present. Our latest study about ayahuasca and public health, the long journey toward integration. It's a scientific project, okay, but I would like to start with something less scientific. In my opinion, the history behind ayahuasca is fascinating. I'm not uh, managing to move forward with the presentation. Sorry, I would like to go on to the next slide, but it doesn't seem to be. Judith, I need your help, please. Anyway, I'll start. I'll get started. As I was saying, ayahuasca... Ayahuasca started off centuries ago uh, like a mysterious uh, drink that nobody seemed to, to know about. Some anthropologists would go to the jungle and describe some brew that the Indians would use. And the use of ayahuasca has been expanding in a way that something occult and even related to the El Dorado myths, but that's the suggestion that the real El Dorado were the visions caused by ayahuasca. That was the fascinating place where ayahuasca would take you. And that uh, spread around the world. And with this expansion, many questions arose. For instance, what uh, effects does the use of ayahuasca have on health? So in order to respond to this question from science, uh, well, we've tried to do this from two main perspectives, including some exceptions, as is the study by Adam, I think, yeah, that's an exception, um, you know, assessing long-term users of ayahuasca and seeing how their mental health works, psychoneurology, whether there is any neurocognitive deterioration or with, the, or with clinical trials. So these two approaches, despite the fact that these are useful tools, they have important limitations. And I know it's difficult to extrapolate the results of this to the general population because in the case of observational studies in long-term users, maybe these users are using for such a long time because they can resist their side effects and that's why they keep on using. But those that start using and then uh, drop out, uh, well, we cannot assess them the same way. And the clinical trials, of course, uh, I mean, clinical trial with 15, 20 people in a space that's totally controlled, experimental, in a lab setting or in a hospital. Again, this does not allow to extrapolate the results. Uh, at ICS, we are guilty because we have published our clinical trials. That's why we, we realized the, the limitations and we try to go beyond. It's a position that's more community-based and less, uh, less biomedical. So that's why we tried to replace the, the, the question. Because sometimes it's not about the outcome, but the question that you pose. Effects of ayahuasca on health status, that was the idea initially, but taking into uh, account the repercussions, because health is a construct that's difficult to explain, so it's influenced not just because of what you use, but your environment, what you eat, where you live, what you do, so difficult to assess what the effects are, because those effects, well, have 5,000 more factors related. So rather the question should be, should be, can effectively, can we effectively integrate the communitarian use of ayahuasca in modern societies without any risk, I mean, for public uh, health? 
so how to assess a public health uh, policy? Well, using the health indicators. That's what most of the governments do. And those are indicators, of different dimensions and different parameters are assessed. You see the, this here, general health, lifestyle, positive mental health, etc. And our indicators are validated internationally, so they're valid for most of the countries. And the results obtained can be compared against the population-based outcomes. So we administer those uh, indicators. The sample was 380 ayahuasca users in Spain. We wanted to get far from online surveys because you don't exactly know who responds and how many times, etc. So we took some psychedelic trips in Spain, different ceremonies in Spain, our road trips to collect uh, who would be our, our users. Mean of age was 40 years. Most of them had a university degree, and most of them were living with a family and children. That was the profile of the subject. Here's the, here's the information that I can provide you with about general, uh, general health. General health, positive uh, perception of health is slightly higher in ayahuasca users. Uh, body mass index, more or less the same. Prevalence of high cholesterol and under hypertension is much, much lower. And this difference in cholesterol and hypertension could be due to the fact that the samples were taken in Catalonia. In Catalonia, the lifestyle is healthier, luckily. So we're better off compared to most of Spain. So that's why probably the result of the indicators. Over 50% of the sample reported reducing their use of medical and mental health services after they started using ayahuasca. Nearly 60% of the users reported not having used any prescription drugs in the previous six months. And about 50% uh, of the sample reported that they were able to reduce their use of prescription drugs thanks to their ayahuasca use. So lifestyle. Ayahuasca users to the left, they would ride more to work, ride their bike or even walk. Sleep disorders, more or less the same. Daily fruit consumption, apparently more among ayahuasca users. But again, this is Catalonia, and it's different compared to the rest of Spain. And then reading habits, they would score higher. Ayahuasca users would score higher. Positive mental health, a large proportion of the subjects in the sample were engaged in activities like meditation or yoga. Nearly all of the participants reported having vital goals to fulfill or to fight for. Very important because oftentimes we've heard that the problems reported in psychology, psychiatric offices have to do with this. Something happens in their life, they have a healthy diet, they have a good job, but they find no meaning in their life, nothing to fulfill. They lost vital spirit and they sort of uh, stop uh, dreaming, stop fighting, and those are quite habitual problems. And most of the members in the sample reported they were, that they were relatively happy with their life. Social support, very important. We saw that most of the members in their, in their circle, they had help so they could go to the doctor with them uh, to express their their feelings joy sadness sadness in 2017 i believe the number of houses uh, where one person lives all by himself or herself has increased so we're becoming more more solitary um, but according to this uh, the trend is not that that clear but we we're not suggesting any causality we're not saying that if you use ayahuasca you are going to have great uh, social support we're just observing the situation now mental health Interesting, we found out that among men, mental health was poorer among ayahuasca users and mental health was uh, better for women. We don't know exactly how to interpret. Maybe men are more stupid in general. I don't know, more impulsive. Who knows? Maybe lifestyle is more problematic. 
But we see it's very positive the fact that uh, women are doing better in terms of mental health. Uh, in general population, usually women don't do good, don't do fine because their salaries are, are lower, they are constantly subject to attacks, you know, condescending um, attitudes, etc. But here, among ayahuasca users, they're better off, so that's good for us. And uh, by conclusion, sway of conclusion, in our study, we see that actually ayahuasca use, community-based ayahuasca use can be part of our society, and that was part of our mission at ICERS when we were born 10 years ago. So the study tries to give answers to some of the questions that we asked uh, long ago and that's why we published this in the journal of psychoactive drugs you can download it or man, I don't know, send a message to I mean we cannot uh, offer, offer it for, for free but contact us and we will send it to you thank you that's all for me